All right, hi everyone. Um, I've been given a um, an old Samsung Galaxy S install. Um, this slim bean um, jelly bean ROM. So I'm just going to go through this process. So uh, the really good place to start is in this forum here. So I'm just going to follow this forum under Galaxy S i9000 flashing tutorial. Thanks to a senior member. I don't know how to pronounce Psyq. Psychic. Um, so the first thing to do is um, install the drivers uh, or keys, which I've already got on there, so that's fine. Um, otherwise, the driver's there. Um, download this package. I've actually downloaded that, and in here it actually includes a stock ROM, a kernel, um, a rooted kernel, uh, plus Odin. So um, do that anyway, because what we want is we want that kernel. Okay, so uh, next step, um, I'm just going to I'll show you where I'm starting from. So on my phone, you can see it's an i9000 firmware 2.3.6. So that's where I'm starting from. Okay, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so as this forum says here, it um, doesn't matter what ROM you are first, you need to download a stock gingerbread ROM, which I'm actually already on. So uh, I'm going to skip the first bit, but um, if you haven't done that, then I suggest you just follow steps um, three and four. I'm going to start um, down at 4.1 here because um, this is to, from here on in, this is where we install the um, the, the kernel with root, so it um, roots the, the phone basically. So we're going to do the three key combo for accessing clockwork so and also the download mode. So um, so we press volume down plus home plus power. Okay. So that step there and it says keep button pressed. Okay, so volume down plus powers over powers over here, volume down and home key. So press all three. Okay, so it's in download mode and that's what it should look like. So that's good. And over here you can see it says installing device driver. If you have the right drivers, um, just let it finish. Okay, it says your device is ready to use, which is good. Okay, so um, download mode, close Odin, open again, press PDA and browse for the CF root file. So go to Odin, start it again. So it says added there, so that's good. Um, once you've downloaded the three files, um, you'll see that's the CF root with the kernel and that's the ROM that comes with it. Okay, so what we're going to do, so PDA, I'm going to go to my, um, sorry, my desktop. Um, in here, I've got stock ROM. So that's the CF root file that we want. And that's the tar file. So go open. So, so start. So as you can say, pass. Um, Completed, all thread completed, removed, and you can see the phone is booting because I've got the auto reboot ticked. Okay, so now that we've done that, your phone will reboot. Um, if your phone boots up again, obviously it says here um, set it to mass storage so that you can copy on um, the ROM that you want to install. So, in my particular case, I wanted to install Slim ROM. Slim uh, Bean, sorry. So, but my phone uh, went into a boot loop, um, but that's okay because um, Clockwork Mod actually did get installed. So, what we can do is I'll volume up. I took the battery out, uh, volume up, power, and the um, home button. Do that. 
you'll see it boots into clockwork mod which is great and um, I just copied I went over to uh, the slim bean on the XDA forum here under Android development latest one is the uh, version 3 so if you go down here the instructions are here to get the ROM click here um, go over here find your phone which is the i9000 here and um, I just downloaded the latest one and again over here if you go to here um, it's the Google Apps package so under full packages because we're coming from a different um, ROM so just downloaded those two um, the slim gaps and uh, on a thousand and copied it onto an external SED and then put it in the phone okay so um, now that we're back here so we've already we want we've gone into recovery what we want to do now is to wipe so we'll follow that wipe data refract so wipe data factory reset so we'll go down wipe data um, delete all user data So we'll do that. So with installing any um, custom ROM, there's always three things to wipe. The first one is to wipe data factory set it. The second one is to wipe the cache. And then the third one is under advanced um, to go and wipe the Dalvik cache. So I'm just going to let it run. Okay, so it took quite a while. Um, now we want to go down and wipe cache partition. So it says wipe cache. Okay, and then after that's done, we want to go to advanced. And 
second one down wipe the Dalvik cache as well. Done. So now we've wiped all three, it's time to install our ROM. So from here we can go um, go back and then we want to go down to install zip from SD card. So choose zip. Um, in this case, um, because I've put it on my e external SD, we'll go to external XD and they're the two zip files. So we want to do the ROM first. Select that one. And go OK. And uh, let it do it do its thing. So as you saw, it rebooted um, really quickly out of Clockwork Mod and it, and sat on that um, boot screen semaphore. So if I if you go over to uh, the installation instructions here for the Slim ROM, Slim Bean ROMs, it says down here, if the flash is too quick, less than five seconds or so, reflash device before flashing common or other zip files. So what I did was um, I just took the battery out, uh, rebooted it back into Clockwork Mod and um, it came up with a new version, um, a much more current version and I went and reinstalled it again and um, as you can see it's finished it. Uh, I did the um, Google Apps as well. So now we'll go back and I'm going to go reboot system now. So now we'll wait about 5-10 minutes and um, see if it boots up. Okay, so that's a good sign. It's So we basically just wait. Okay, so now I've just finished setting it all up and uh, this is the first boot into Slim Bean ROM. What I particularly liked about this ROM, um, because the resolution on the phone is um, pretty low, um, I like that uh, the, the fonts are smaller and it looks like they've um, 
it looks like you could fit like more on the screen so um, there you have it so yes you can see Android 4.1.2 um, baseband's unknown because I don't have the SIM in there um, but Slim 300 official so there you have it that's um, upgrading the old Galaxy S, original Galaxy S, to um, Jelly Bean 4.1.2. Um, I'll go into the Play Store. And uh, yeah, it all works. So, super user, it's rooted, we'll update it. As you can see, it's actually quite um, responsive. Very good. Excellent. There you have it. Hope it helps. Thanks for watching.